this is uh, 11.5 scene and loading that into 11.6 doesn't really work. Uh, you could also get a crash once you open or edit fiber effects. Let's see. Um, yeah, here you got edit guides. And when you click that, okay, now it's fine. But at times, it will just fly off the screen. Um, yeah, like that. So, and that's, from what I know, that's basically because of this 11.5 uh, feature, uh, or bug rather, uh, because they upgraded FiberFX in 11.6, this wouldn't load properly. Uh, what you need to do is basically, you need to just get rid of the guides and do them over again if you're importing from 11.5 to 11.6. So, um, just click a new one, V2, why not? Uh, did that work? No. Remove. Remove. You can see that this is a bit tricky. Okay, so there we are. So I guess now that we got rid of the 11.5 guides, and you need to do those over again. So, Should definitely consider using uh, symmetry axis here, but I'm not going to test this all that much. Not really a big fan of doing this in. Um, layout the, the controls are certainly so so but yeah okay let's just do that and you can see it's updated of course you need to do that with this one as well bird let's see this bird uh, guide I think I should just remove that one um, yeah, so now it's none for that. So anyway, that's that's how you fix it if you import an 11.5.6, uh, whoop, 11.5 seam into 11.6. What you need to do next is you need to save uh, the scene, so let's say E5, but if you escape now, what will happen, uh, or if you close this, what will happen is that it will not load properly because you need to save the object as well. So not only do you need to save the scene, but you also need to save the object. So if I yes on that, and then let's say just clear the scene. Now let's open that again. Hopefully this should load. Yeah correctly. So that's how you can do that. Again, if, if you want to tweak um, If you want to tweak the guides, then in layout, it's a rough way of doing it, and it it can work if you your sub D level is not too low. I mean, if your sub D level is really cagey, then you'll get into problems using that tool, 
and also if you want the feathers to follow really really closely the, the actual object then doing it in layout is kind of like tricky but for rough objects like this then it's then it's okay it works all right